to another Tune of the Month. Happy May. I'm just making a very quick video here before I have to run out of town for concerts, but I of course couldn't leave without giving you a Tune of the Month. Um, I thought I would share this jig that um, I actually played a lot when I was younger, uh, kind of nonstop. <laughs> and uh, I recently rediscovered it and remembered why it's so awesome and why I should share it with you and why I should be playing it more myself um, because it's pretty spectacular. I don't know much about where it comes from. Uh, the name is Simon Thumeyer's jig, and here it is. Two, three, ah. Grab your fiddle, grab your whistle, grab your cello, grab your kazoo, grab your whatever you play. Let's do it. Um, Alright, so this jig, I think uh, the coolest thing about this jig is the rhythm and what comes from the bow and the bowing. So we're going to focus on that. If you want to um, have some ideas of how to ornament it with your left hand, check out past jig videos. We've done a lot of, uh, a lot of elements that work well with this jig. Check out uh, Last June Exhale. Um, where we'll talk about putting in hammer-on and rolls. Check out uh, Suzanne's jig from October. That's about how to make little variations like I did the second time through I played it. There's lots you can do. But I, today, am interested in the bow. So, here we go. Let's learn it. Um, it's in G major, one sharp. And here's the A section slowed down. No ornaments. <laughs> Around, part one and the ending which is basically the same as the turnaround right so there's very little to learn um, notice that sometimes when I have a group of, of three eighth notes da 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 that's the jig thing right big little big little big little big little are the words I use whenever I have a group of three sometimes I'm keeping them separate big little to make it chunky and lilty and sometimes I'm slurring the three together. All my slurs go up bow because they're the second half of the bow. So I'll go big little slur, or, or, or as I say, glide, because it gives it that sense of whoosh. So that's the cool combination for this jig. I'll slow it down and show you where I'm putting those. I'm going to start with a glide. Glide. That's part one. So did you see that one glide right up front? And by the way, anybody scratching your head going, what are those notes? Those aren't in the scale. You're right. There's a little chromatic passage, all half steps. G, A, B flat, B natural. That's what makes that A section sound so cool, isn't it? part one. I'm playing that chromatic just by sliding my first finger. I put a low first finger, then a high first finger. Not a big deal. Great trick used in a lot of places. Here's the turnaround. Glide. So 
this is where the glides really come in. I have two of them. And you may have noticed the chromatic at the top. Instead of F natural, oh sorry, instead of F sharp. F natural gives it a little kind of this sense. <laughs> Just ends there. I'll put it all together. A section. Now, again, the B's coolness comes from the rhythm and from the bow. Look what it does right up front. No pickups. No pickups to this B section. So one, two, one. One. That's that little riff that probably caught your attention when I played it through fast, right? There's a tie over the bar line. I'm, my imaginary sheet music here. Usually in a jig, there's six notes in a bar, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And usually we put the emphasis on one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What this jig does is fly in the face of that. And it says, well, I'm going to connect. I'm going to put a long note from beat six to beat one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Kind of cool. And that's part one. I'll do it again. Pretty cool, right? I'll do it again a little slower and keep going for the turnaround. Six, one. And then we're back to the A section. cool thing. It happens in a lot of tunes. Uh, normally a B section would go part one, part two, back to part one, and the ending. Right? We've done that before in past videos. Now, I call this a half B construction. It happens in Irish tunes, it happens in a few Scottish tunes, um, and it's a real windfall for anybody trying to learn a tune by ear because all of a sudden you know half the section for free. In the B section you'll play part one, part two. And instead of going to back to part one of the B, you go to part one of the A, my imaginary sheet music, and play the second half of the A section. So there's only half a B section unto itself. All right, here's the whole thing. Start with the fun rhythm. One. Sorry, one, two. same way that it was in the full A section. Alright, so that's the tune. Hopefully that gives you an idea of some things to play around with with the bow. If you want to add some left hand ornaments, any of the ornaments out of Exhale last June, or the variation ideas out of Suzanne's jig uh, in October, the Highlander Irish jig in December, all these have great ideas and I'll just show you real fast how I might apply to the A section. <laughs> elements are in the other tunes, I'll throw them into the, the written sheet music. As always, I will write out this tune uh, with the bowings and the ornaments, and I'll send it out to my email list. If you are uh, part of my mailing list, you'll get that in your inbox probably today. 
Um, and if you're not and you'd like it, go to my website, www.mariblack.com and sign up for the mailing list and you'll get cheap music for all the tunes of the month for here ever after. All right, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will see you next month. Have fun jigging.